So, um, the question says there's a man and his son, okay? So there's a father, oh, yes. oh, and then there's a son, okay? Now, uh, you'll have to help me out here. I think it says currently the father right now is three times older than the son. Three times older than son, okay? And it says if we go forward 12 years, the father will then be twice the age of his son. Yeah? Okay. So uh, this is like now. And later. We add 12 years. 12 years elapse. That's really bad writing. Sorry. The father will be double the age. Yeah? Father double. Okay. So. Like I said, this is really bad interpretation and sort of, how can you translate from this into algebra? Okay. Now, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta set up, okay, I've got numbers, I've got unknowns, so clearly this is about translating this into algebra, right? So I'm going to introduce some pronouns to stand for some stuff. What would you like to suggest? Yeah. Uh, sun equals x. Okay, so I could say son's age, but I'm going to do two things. Number one, I'm going to encourage you to choose a pronoun rule that is meaningful. S. Now, you, you can choose anything you like, but I'm going to call it S for son because this question is confusing enough on its own without me forgetting, am I talking about the father or the son right now? Okay, so I'm going to say the son's age, I'm going to call that S, but on top of that, we need to be a little more specific because the question of the son's age begs the question, well, the son's age when, right? And there are two distinct time periods here. So there's now and then there's later, okay? Now you really can choose it whichever way you like. Uh, after this, once we're done, I'll have a go at solving it the other way and see what happens, okay? Which would you like the son's age S to be? Do you want it to be now or later? Now. Sure, why not? So the son is currently S years old, right now, okay? Okay, so far so good. Now, that way, that way, thank you. You can sneak under, you'll be fine. Um, I need to introduce more pronoun rules, don't I? Do I? Yes. Okay, so if I introduce a new pronoun rule, like say, oh I don't know, the father's age. Okay. Now, just like before, so that I am minimally confusing, I'm going to specify when I'm talking about the father's age. So since I've already chosen now, I might as well stay right now. So we'll just assign that the letter M. Okay. So now my task is to take what I've got up here, translate that, take what I've got here, which I can also translate, and then see how these two are going to dance together. Okay. So right now, the father's age is going to be three times, like literally three times the sun's age. So that is true right now this second. Okay. That's one equation. I've just translated it straight out of there. Now, 12 years have to pass. So if the father's age is right now f, then in 12 years it's not going to be f anymore. It will be... f plus 12. Sure. So it's increased. Okay. But while the father's age is increasing, if there are no time machines or relativistic travel involved, the sun is also aging at the same pace. Agreed? So when I'm about to write this right hand side, which also connects the father's age to the son's age, it's the son's age in the future, just like it's the father's age in the future. The father in the future will be how much older than the son? Twice. Double that age. And that age has also increased by 12. Are you okay with that? Okay, I've got two equations. I will tidy this up just a teeny bit. That's 2s plus 24. So you can see, I've got an equation here. I've got an equation here. Does it check out? Yeah. Do you agree with how I got those numbers and how I arranged them? So if you agree with that, well, let's just see where it takes us. You've got equation one, you've got equation two. I'm, actually, I should have tied it up a bit further. F equals 2s plus 12. Let's call that equation 2, shall we? What would you like me to do? Okay, so both of them have f as the subject, so I might as well let 1 and 2 equal to each other. 
So I'm going to sub, doesn't actually matter which one goes into which. Okay. So I've got here 2s plus 12 equals 3s. Yeah? So s therefore must be equal to 12. Right? What is that? That's the son's age right now. So therefore, the father's age right now is 36. And of course, you can just double check that. Does it work? When 12 years pass, how old will the son be? He'll be 24. And what about the father? 48, which is indeed twice as old. 